In this video, we're going to go over writing custom template functions for Jinja. Jinja has an awesome mechanism of allowing you to write and integrate custom functions so that you can really expand the usability of your templates. What we're going to do is we're going to take our task application that we have here, and then if you're logged in, we're going to show you how many tasks are currently assigned to you. To get started, let's take a look at our view. We're just going to do a basic detail view and a list view, and if you'll notice, each of the templates that they're using are Jenja templates. To get started with creating our custom template functions, we're going to create a template tags folder, and we're going to create an init.py file inside of that template tags folder so that Python can initialize everything in the folder. Then to actually start writing our custom template function, we're going to create a user.py file inside of our template tags folder. You can actually name this anything you want, I just chose user for simplicity's sake. First thing we need to do is we need to import the library module of our Django Jinja app. Then we're going to start off by creating our function of total tasks. We're going to pass it a user, so that way when we're in our template we just pass it a user object and it does everything from there. We're going to return user.tasks, user.taskset.count, so we just get the count of all the tasks assigned to a specific user. And then if we use our library.global function, we can assign it the total task function so that it actually gets registered with Jinja, and we can use it inside of our templates. Now to actually use this total tasks function inside of our template, if we'll open up our base.jenja file, and we'll add a new div, and in there, we'll check to see if the current user is actually authenticated. And if they are, we're going to tell the user how many tasks they currently have by using our total tasks and passing in the user object. To see this in action, we'll start up our server and go to our application. And the first thing we need to do is we need to actually log in because as you can see, nothing is there because the user isn't authenticated. So we log in, we'll go back to our index, and there we go, we have two tasks assigned to the current user. If we go into our admin, and we unassign myself from one of the tasks, save it, and then go back home, you see we only have one task left. And that's really it, that's really all there is to it for creating custom functions. You can do much more complex things with your template, custom template tags, but this shows you how you can integrate some potentially complex Python logic inside of a template tag, and it's easily accessible all over your application anywhere you need it inside of a Jenja template. With that, please give it a shot and see what you think.